Welcome to Unity Lutheran Church. We're so glad that we can be gathered together here again this morning uh, during this time. Um, thank you for your generosity to the church. Uh, your generosity helps our ministries to continue. Um, your generosity for the noisy offering. Please remember gifts for the noisy offering. Um, we also want to remind you that there are opportunities to uh, give where your gifts will be multiplied uh, to Blessed Hope. If you can get a noisy offering gift to Blessed Hope uh, to the church by Wednesday, Meyer will match it with two additional dollars. And uh, Blessed Hope is a ministry that does so much for the community, for people who are really in need at this time. Tomorrow, on Monday, we will have drive-by or curbside communion. You can stay in your car. Uh, we will have brief scripture, some prayer. Uh, you will get communion. Uh, we'll pray the Lord's Prayer, and then you can go on your way. We will be giving you some worship resources that you can use at home. Uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, that would be from 11 to 12 in the morning, from 1.30 to 2.30 in the afternoon, and then from 5.30 to 6.30 in the evening. Let us now prepare for worship. The voice of the one crying in the wilderness says, Prepare the way for the Lord. Make his paths straight. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to prepare the way for the coming of your Son. Give us courage and faith to proclaim in word and deed the good news of your coming, even as we wait in patience for that day when Christ will come again. Amen. At this time, we encourage you to pause the video and reflect on the following questions. In this time of Advent, with everything going on in the world, what in your life requires patience? The next question is, what are you waiting for? And finally, the third question is, how might you in your own way, prepare the way of Christ's coming. Strengthen us to serve you with purified lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her turn that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cries out, and I said, well, what should I cry? All people are grass, their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift your voices with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord comes with might, and the Lord's arm rules for God. God's reward is with, is with him, and his, his recompense before him. God will feed his flock like a shepherd. God, God will gather the lambs in his arms, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, the first chapter. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness. The wilderness. After many years of persecution, a Jewish man finally found some people who would help him. His home was a wilderness. It was not a safe community for him to be in. He was brought to a globe and he said, was told, you can go any place that you desire to go in the world. He was desperate to find peace, desperate to get out of the wilderness. And he looked at the globe and thought, and then he said, is there any other place? Wilderness. A young woman gives birth to a child. Something tells her that she just does not have the capacity to care for this baby. And she has very little support. She leaves the baby on the steps of a church, hoping that someone will find it. Wilderness. The baby abandoned hungry and cold, afraid and alone, wilderness. An elderly woman walks home from the store. 
Her own life is a wilderness. She can barely get to the store and back and wonders how she will get through the day. And then she hears a sound and looks and brings this baby from the wilderness into her arms, tears streaming down her face. Wilderness. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness to announce the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. John is the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way for the one who will come. Now the wilderness is not some idyllic place here, a place where we would want to go for vacation. Wilderness here is at the edge of life. It is often a place of struggle, a place of fear, a place, a time of uncertainty. It is a time of wondering and pondering. What will come next? Wilderness. Wilderness is every household eating Thanksgiving dinner alone. It is exchanging food for the meal with loved ones on the front porch, waving at grandchildren through the window, or the grandchildren waving at grandma and grandpa from the car. Wilderness is seeing daily COVID deaths now approaching or exceeding the number of people who were killed on the one day 9-11. Wilderness is not being able to gather with family and friends for food and drink and laughter. Wilderness is not being able to go to church safely where God meets us. Wilderness is not being able to sing with our siblings, to sing praise to God, and some of us singing loudly to give thanks to God and others singing loudly with our bad voices to get even with God. Wilderness is loved ones in the hospital that we cannot visit. Wilderness is people in the hospital with no one will, close familiar to them to comfort them. Wilderness. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism for the repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ is good news. It is fresh news for every generation. We are in the season of Advent, a time to wonder, to wait, and to watch. This year, Advent is more of a wilderness than I could recall at any time in my life. We do not know what the future holds, but the wilderness is where God shows up. Wilderness is God at the edges, where God belongs at the edges of the world and at the edges of our lives. And when God shows up in the wilderness and at the edges of the world, good things happen. God led Israel through the wilderness, bringing them into the promised land. After being driven from the wilderness, Jesus proclaimed the good news of God, saying the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is coming near. Jesus went through villages and wilderness to proclaim good news, to teach, to uh, heal and to proclaim good news. Jesus proclaimed, God is with you. God is drawing near to you. God is with you in the wilderness of your heart. 
and in the wilderness of the world in which we live. Jesus brought four disciples into the wilderness of the Garden of Gethsemane, where he struggled in the wilderness of prayer. Jesus was crucified outside of the city and then went through the wilderness of death in the wilderness of the tomb. But God's kingdom comes, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. The Holy Spirit now enters into this world and into our hearts here and now, in the midst of the wilderness, even in the midst of exile, God's Spirit comes. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. The prophet looks in the distance and sees and then announces, here is your God. The Lord comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. We wait, we watch, we wonder. Soon good news will come to shepherds watching their flocks in the wilderness. Fear not. I bring you good news of great joy, for to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, Christ the Lord. Wilderness. It all begins in the wilderness. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We wait, we wonder, we watch. So come, Lord Jesus, come, and let the people say amen. Amen. Please join in singing ELW 239, Hark the Glad Sound. using the words of the Apostles Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth I believe in Jesus Christ God's only Son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. God of power and might, comfort your people and come quickly to this weary world. Here are prayers for everyone in need. Faithful God, you teach us to wait for you with faithfulness and patience. Sustain and support us in our doubts and questions. 
Nurture our faith as we discern and enact your mission. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, your mercy is, is great. great. Loving God, you set the stars in the sky and breathe life into the earth. Renew the face of creation where it is in need of your healing touch. Mend the wounds of environmental damage and restore balance to ecosystems so that all creation can declare your praise. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Steadfast God, you never tire of seeking justice. Where people suffer from discrimination, judgment, and injustice, speak words of truth and comfort. Work through us to end the sin of systematic racism. Lead us toward a world where faithfulness will sprout underfoot and righteousness rain down from above. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Leading God, you ask us to make uneven ground smooth. Make even the disparities between your people. Sustain and support people with physical and intellectual disabilities. Accompany disability advocates who work for a world accessible to all. Teach us to celebrate the great diversity in our midst. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Tender God, you know sorrow and joy alike. We pray for those in our families and congregation who are not joyful in this holiday season. Comfort those who grieve. Be a companion to all who are lonely. Tend those who are sick or struggling with depression and gather all people into your healing embrace. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Eternal God, we give thanks for the saints who have prepared your way in the wilderness and taught us to continue their faithful work. Make their generous lives an example for all. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Draw near to us, O oh God, and receive our prayers. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us pray the prayer together that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please receive the benediction. The creator of the stars bless your advent waiting. The long expected savior fill you with love. The unexpected spirit guides your journey now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God.